So hi guys, let's have a look at the Affinity Photo version 2 on the iPad version of our quick masking tutorial. This works equally well on the desktop for Mac or PC, so if you're using those platforms, go right ahead. It's just as easy. Now to start with, we create a new document. Let's use a 6 inch by 4 inch postcard size and name it Masking Tutorial. So you just create it, then save it as Masking Tutorial. Well, actually, you can give it any name you like, but that's the one I'm using here. Now, fill it with a burnt orange rectangle. That's the easiest way. And now we need our shapes to mask. Now, let's use the one provided. Notice the elements are all curves. It's an SG, SVG file, and you can easily create something simple like this or use the file supp supplied. And you can see the address in the bottom of the screen there, Affinity Downloads. You'll find it there. Easily named. Can't miss it. Masking Tutorial. And put that in its place. Now this is what your canvas looks like now, with the notice added. Now that's an S SVG file, remember. And the orange rectangle. is in the bottom layer. Now place your texture image. Use mine or your own. Mine is Grunge JPG and it's in the download folder. Look on my website for a copy of this one. Very straightforward. There's plenty of them around. You've probably got your own by now. So fill the screen. That's it. You, you go to Edit, select Place, locate your Grunge image, Select it and then just tap the center of the workspace to cover the orange layer with the mask. And you can see in the layers panel how it lays out there. Now apply the mask. Keeping grunge selected, open the layers panel and locate the icon. Tap on it and then select rasterize to mask function right there. You can see it, it's one, two, three, fourth from the bottom. Now, your work will look like this, and you can see the grunge mask applied. Note the position of the layers. Try other grunge masks, a photo of a girl in a mask. Easy. Note the layers now. The topmost photo JPG is a raster mask. The lower photo JPG, what, that's the one, it's below the grunge mask now. Now I've turned off photo mask and I've turned off grunge mask and only the new photo one is in place. And you've got the caution sign and the orange uh, layer. And you can see that it changes that and sort of reflects through it. Now this is the image used of the dystopian city for the second mask example. So let your imagination guide you in how you use mask layers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe because it helps keep me going. See you in the next exercise.